What's going on, y'all? I want to show you the new Tricomp in Studio One version 5. What I have up here is the previous version of the Tricomp. And because I want to show you the saturation in it, because the saturation has been completely redone in the new one. So I'm going to take the saturation on these drums from zero to 100% and back, and just see how much of a difference you can hear with the saturation at 100% and with it at zero. So I'm not hearing much of a difference. Uh, I mean, if this is really doing something, it's very, very subtle. Uh, but let's take a look at the new Tricomp in Studio 1.5 and check it out. Okay, so we got the new Tricomp here, and this really reminds me of the the old uh, the Focusrite Sapphire 6 interfaces uh, with this black and yellow color scheme here. Uh, but all of the familiar controls, one thing notice that we don't, we no longer have or able to see the values uh, for the fast, normal, and uh, slow attack times here. But what I mainly want to show you here is the saturation, because like I said, this has been completely redone. So we just heard what the old version sounded like. Uh, now let's take a listen to the new one. much improved with the saturation here and i didn't even get it to 100 percent. we just stayed at like 50 percent with it so just because of this saturation here i think i'm gonna start using this again i'd stopped using this uh, for a while but i really like it on drums especially using it for like parallel compression uh, because one thing this has that not a lot of compressors has is an input gain so i can boost the input going into the compressor so for example even though with the compressor all the way up you saw i wasn't getting that much gain reduction but watch how much gain reduction i get now with the input gain So yeah, so I can use that input gain to really help slam the compressor here. Uh, but there's a quick look at the new updated Tricomp in Studio 1.5. Uh, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time.